When I was young, I thought that money was the most important thing in life. Now that I'm old, I know it is. Oscar Wilde What if I told you that financial success isn't about mastering spreadsheets or understanding complex financial equations? What if the real game lies in something we all have, our behavior? Before we dive deeper, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share it with others. It really helps us keep bringing you valuable content like this. We often think wealth comes from technical skills, insider knowledge, or having access to unique opportunities. But as it turns out, even the most financially literate people sometimes make terrible money decisions. Why? Because at the end of the day, money isn't just about logic, it's emotional. It's shaped by personal experience, habits, and mindset. This video draws inspiration from Morgan Housel's book, The Psychology of Money, which explains that financial success is less about what you know and more about how you behave. We'll explore the psychology behind money, using real-world stories and powerful insights to help you better manage your finances. By the end of this video, you'll have a deeper understanding of how time, patience, luck, and even knowing when to stop play crucial roles in achieving long-term financial freedom. The power of compound interest, the magic of investing in time. Compound interest is often called the eighth wonder of the world, and for a good reason. The earlier you start investing, the more time your money has to grow exponentially. Warren Buffett, considered one of the most successful investors of all time, built his fortune not just by picking good stocks, but by staying invested for decades. In fact, over 90% of Buffett's wealth was earned after his 60th birthday. Let's break down how powerful compound interest can be. Imagine you invest $1,000 at an 8% annual return. In just 10 years, that money grows to $2,159. But if you leave it invested for 40 years, you'd have over $21,000, all without adding a single penny more. This shows that time is the most powerful ally for any investor. The secret is to start early and stay patient. It's not always about how much you invest, but how long you let your money grow. Patience isn't just a virtue, it's a financial strategy. Risk and luck, the hidden factors behind success. Every financial journey involves a blend of risk and luck. Bill Gates is a prime example. He wasn't just talented, he also had access to rare opportunities, like a computer at his school, Lakeside at a time when computers were not widely available. But not all stories have happy endings. Gates's childhood friend, Ken Evans, had the same potential, yet a tragic accident ended his life early. This teaches us that success isn't just about skill or effort. Luck and risk play a role in every outcome, and recognizing this is essential for both humility and resilience. When things go well, it's easy to assume it's all due to your hard work. But it's equally important to acknowledge the role that chance plays. At the same time, financial failure is not always the result of bad decisions. Sometimes, it's just bad luck. Knowing this can help you stay balanced during setbacks and avoid overconfidence when things go your way. Hedonic treadmill, knowing when to stop. Have you ever reached a financial goal, only to feel like it's still not enough? This is what psychologists call the hedonic treadmill. As soon as we achieve something, whether it's buying a new car, a house, or reaching a savings goal, we quickly adapt and start wanting more. Bernie Madoff is a cautionary tale. He was already wealthy but couldn't resist the temptation to have more. This endless pursuit led to one of the largest financial frauds in history and his eventual downfall. The key lesson here is that true wealth isn't about always chasing the next thing. It's about learning to appreciate what you have and knowing when to say, this is enough. Finding contentment is crucial to long-term happiness, both financially and emotionally. Tail events, how big success comes from a few hits. Success is rarely a straight path. In fact, most significant achievements come from tail events, those rare, high-impact moments that shape the majority of outcomes. Think of Amazon. It had plenty of failures, like the Fire Phone, which flopped. But the overwhelming success of Amazon Prime and AWS more than made up for those losses. This principle also applies to personal finance. You might make a few bad investments along the way, but one or two major successes can define your financial future. The trick is to stay in the game long enough to benefit from those rare wins. You don't need to be perfect. 
you just need a few right decisions to outweigh the wrong ones. The difference between being rich and being financially free. We often confuse being rich with being financially free. Someone driving a luxury car or wearing designer clothes may seem wealthy, but they might be buried in debt. True financial freedom isn't about what you own. It's about having control over your time and choices. Consider two people. One lives paycheck to paycheck, buying everything on credit, while the other saves diligently, lives below their means, and invests for the future. Who's truly wealthy? The second person, because they've bought freedom. Freedom to retire early, take time off, or pursue their passions. Money gives us options, and the most valuable option is control over our time. Financial freedom means not being trapped by a job or lifestyle you can't afford to leave. The price of uncertainty. Volatility as the ticket to big returns. Investing isn't a smooth ride. The stock market rises and falls, sometimes dramatically. Many people panic during market downturns and sell their investments, missing out on future gains. But volatility is the price we pay for the possibility of high returns. Think of it like a roller coaster. The ride can be thrilling and terrifying at the same time. But if you jump off in the middle, you'll never reach the peak. The same is true with investing. Those who stick it out through market ups and downs are the ones who reap the rewards in the long run. Instead of fearing uncertainty, learn to embrace it. Long-term investors understand that volatility is normal. The key is to focus on the big picture and stay the course. The importance of behavior. Why it matters more than knowledge. All the financial advice in the world won't help if your behavior works against you. Many people know they should save more, invest early, and avoid debt, yet struggle to put those principles into practice. Why? Because behavior, our emotions, habits, and mindset has a stronger influence on financial outcomes than knowledge alone. It's not just about understanding financial concepts. It's about discipline, sticking to a plan even when it's tough. It's about resisting the temptation to spend impulsively or sell investments out of fear. And it's about building habits that support your long-term goals, even when progress seems slow. To wrap up, let's recap the key lessons. Compound interest rewards patience and time. Luck and risk play a role in every outcome. Stay humble. The hedonic treadmill teaches us to appreciate what we have. Tail events show that big wins often come from a few right decisions. Financial freedom is about control, not consumption. Volatility is the price of high returns. Embrace the uncertainty. Ultimately, financial success isn't about knowing more than others. It's about behaving better over time. Small, consistent actions add up, and the journey toward financial freedom is built on good habits and wise decisions. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. We've got even more exciting content on the way, and the next video is already waiting for you on screen. Click to keep learning. Thank you for watching, and remember, the way you behave with money will shape your future far more than what you know about it. See you in the next one.